Hey there, welcome to Adventures in Pop-Ups. I'm Rachel and I'm happy to announce that I finally got these dinette cushions taken care of. I think that they turned out pretty well. I think they match pretty well. Um, if you saw our previous cushion making, um, slip cover making video on this vintage camper remodel series that we're doing, then you will know I was having trouble. Um, these, these are dining chair covers off of the internet and I can drop a link. This is how they fit and that's great for the backs, but I could not get the bottoms to fit. First I tried cutting the back. I, I had four of them and I, I cut here and then I tried doing a fold over elastic just to try to give it more opening space but i just couldn't make it quite wide enough then i tried using the fabric i had cut out to make it wider this way it still wouldn't cut it then i went to an amazon type of outlet center thing and for a buck one dollar I found the exact same fabric and it was two square cushion covers, like couch cushion covers. So I bought it. I took a gamble. I was pretty sure it was the same fabric. I was like, for a dollar, let's give it a shot. So I finagled it and I made it work. Uh, one thing that I did figure out to do to help make basically half of each bottom cushion is what I scored for a buck. Well, 50 cents a piece, I suppose you could say. But then I, I cut it, I did a little surgery, but when I cut it, I actually took the edging and I cut it and then I made it kind of retrofit and I was able to stretch it the whole length of the rest of the cushion. I don't know how to explain that. I hope my um, layovers of photos and videos right now can give you a clue. Uh, as to what I did, I would never know how to do that. It was just complete experimentation and I think it turned out all right. So it's sure not perfect, but I got it done. It is, as we say, good enough for camping. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. I plan to do the curtains next. We still got flooring and counters to do. And then this place should be wrapping up pretty well. I've already got a new, well, used I got a mini fridge that exactly should fit in the previous icebox hole. So we'll be doing a little mini upgrade there. Um, what else? The beds. I've already got bedding for the beds. Can't wait to show you. I can't wait to see how everything fits together. If you have not already, hit like, subscribe, drop us a comment. Let us know what you think or if you did anything similar. If I was going to do this over again, now that I have a little experience, I would get two of the dining chair covers like this, although they didn't come in a four pack, but anyway. And then I would find a matching, I believe it was a two seater love seat cushion cover. I believe that's what would fit perfectly. Obviously you need to do what's right for your pop-up camper anyhow. So take measurements. What it says fits is pretty accurate. Um, I feel like the description, I already knew it was sketchy and that I confirmed that no, that does not work. Um, the other one, if you have not seen it, I'll post a link. And that one, I actually scored an entire sofa slip cover, like the back, all of it. And I did major surgery on the thing and turned it into our couch slip covers, partially because I couldn't find anything and I was going to make something from scratch, but then I saw this for like $2. And I was like, hey, let's give it a shot. And I like it. It goes with the pillows, it goes with everything. So. Thank you for listening to me ramble. I hope you're out camping. You might be winterizing. Let me know what stage of camping you guys are at as it is the end of October. Thank you guys. Happy camping.